सी नाट्य विहार कला केन्द्र चैरिटी ट्रस्ट हेमा मालिनी हेज एप्लाइड इन सेवेन एप्रिल नाइनटीन टू दी कलेक्टर for the allotment of land in warsaw for cultural academy i'll just give you the history on 18th december 1996 the collector have written to hema malini saying that the plot number 161 survey number 161 plot number 7 have been allotted to natya vihar kala kendra trust of about 1741 square meter letter number 3 she paid on 2nd january 2002 rupees 10 lakhs as a occupation price of plot number 7 layout number 1 warsaw survey number 161 andheri what was the price that she gave sorry 10 rupees 10 lakhs next from 2002 till 2007 the government declared this is the crz which she cannot construct anything in this particular plot at warsaw 2007 july 23 then revenue minister shri narayan rane she applied again for saying that this plot cannot be constructed so please give me alternate alternate area which she has identified through the collector somewhere in ambiuli and she has demanded for 5000 square meter instead of warsaw land in 2007 written to narayan rane in 2010 government made a notification saying that the particular plot layout of survey number 161 where mrs mrs natya vihar kala academy charitable trust which has gone under the crz instead of that ambiuli land which is 29360 square meter is reserved for garden and 18 meter wide dp road out of which 2000 square meter of land from garden to natya vihar kala kendra for the purpose of granting it to the said trust for the use of music art and dance which was written by the government of maharashtra urban development department dated 30th july 2010 now 2010 after the notification 2012 the collector of mumbai suburban district had written to additional chief secretary revenue saying that de reservation of this particular area of 2000 square meter can be given to natya vihar kala kendra this is the letter 2012 then 2013 again shrimati hema malini had written to the honorable chief minister then shri prithviraj chavan so please hand over the land to me which has been allotted to me 2014 the government got changed the new government came fortunately she also became the mp in mathura uttar pradesh from bjp in central and in state bjp took over as the new government one year two months the new revenue minister have studied the whole project and on 23rd december 2015 by the new letter from the revenue department have made the allotment which has been made in 2010 and 2012 for the said plot has been given to hema malini now january 15 2016 related to the project which she has submitted to the then government of 2010 the same have been confirmed by the revenue department and is written to hema malini saying that out of 29000 square meter land 2000 square meter land will be given to her to develop her natya academy and the remaining 27000 square meter land have to be developed as a garden by her trust and given back to bmc which she will not have any claim on it that means the land has to be developed as a garden by her should be given back to bmc then bmc may hand over to anybody and they will look after the maintenance of that particular garden that means only 2000 square meter land have been allotted to her This is the whole history of Natya Vihar Kala Kendra from 1994 till 2016. 22 years struggle of Hema Malini to get a land, which is in front of you. Hema ji, what is the price at which this land has been allotted? The 2,000 square meter, this mm -hmm. square feet. What is the price? Uh, 
it is a it's a government uh, rate na whatever it no, is because at the center of the entire issue is the fact that uh, the 70 crore land has been allotted to you for 70000 70 crore what what is it 70 crores I just so don't what understand. is the market rate of that? What is the market price of that? Land? The market price has not been given. See, they have said that ah. the application may be granted in 1 to 1976. After that, the new letter saying about the particular price has not been received. Whether it is 70,000, whether it is 70 lakhs, is not been mentioned in the letter which has to come. This is a speculative price as per normally. Whenever the government revenue land have been issued, is normally they mention 1 to 1976 mm -hmm. ready reckoner rate so that's why it has been calculated on that 1 to 1976 rate mm -hmm. it is not been clear whether it is 1 to 1976 ready reckoner rate or it is 1st january 2016's ready reckoner rate so whenever it will be coming the exact amount we will let you know at the moment we don't know Imaji, uh, you have allotted a plot earlier have you returned that slot? Uh, do you plan? Uh, do you have any See, first of all, let me thank all of you for coming and making this issue so big. <coughs> and then the entire world, not only uh, nation wise, but internationally also, it has become very popular. So, for me, uh, thank you so much for making my institute very, very popular. <laughs> Thanks to you all. Uh, but it has been a struggle for me for the last 20 years I've been asking for this land which I think most of you know about it and in fact you all used to ask me Ki aapka land mil gaya? then I used to say no oh, you all used to be part of this uh, thing you know many people many of the uh, media people have been part of it and uh, as he has given the whole entire history from 94 I asked then the then it was given to me but uh, I, I paid the money for that, 10 lakhs of rupees I paid that time. And then uh, it became a CR zone. Because of coastal regulation uh, restriction, I could not uh, do anything about it. So I have been telling the government to give me another piece of plan. So they showed me one or two places which was not ac actually very suitable to me. The, but I continued my uh, asking them. So finally it was given, uh, they showed me Ambivali. Ambivali is the place, I don't even know where it is. They said this is the place and uh, here you can, uh, this can be used for you. But you have to uh, make that entire uh, garden, which you people are speculating, the entire thing is for me, it's not for me. It's for the institute and then rest is a beautiful garden like a joggers park and all. I have to make it and give it to BMC, which they will maintain it. So even for me to enter, maybe I'll have to ask their permission. It is like that. But uh, it, it's a very big task for me to make that entire uh, garden, apart from my institute coming up. So my institute is, uh, it's been a long dream for me. For the last 20 years, I've been asking and wanting to establish a dance institute, which is my right, which I wanted. Because I am a dancer, as an artist I have been uh, wanting it because I want to uh, part my knowledge of dance, music to the public, to the children of today is very, very essential today because our Indian culture is slowly deteriorating. The classical dance form, the music, music is all there but uh, so much of influence of Western is coming up so it is necessary to uh, have an institute like this which was my dream from a long back which is coming true and uh, it will have uh, various uh, kinds of classical dance, uh, mu uh, Hindustani music, Karnatic music, all kind of fine arts, everything is going to be and people of Maharashtra, M Mumbai will be very proud to have such an institute. I am not saying there is no other institute, there are many are there and very beautiful institute are there but it is as an artist even I have the right to have a, an institute where I want to impart this beautiful knowledge of dance, music to the children and it will be all free of cost. So all form of things, not only dance music, music recording, how to do a, a stage craft, how to be on the stage, the costumes, uh, photography, all kind of thing I want to give, uh, impart this kind of knowledge with the library and many, many things there. So that is coming true, so that I need the, so much space and uh, it is going to be a pride of uh, this area. So, uh, so I think there should not be any objection for you people and you all made uh, such an issue out of it. So I was wondering what is happening.